Group after group of refugees are arriving in Bansi, some dazed and exhausted, others frustrated and angry. In the past month, more than a thousand people fleeing violence in Burkina Faso have crossed the border. Imbu Makama's husband was killed in an attack in her hometown, Baleyale. The attackers came to our house in the night. They locked me and the children in a room and shot my husband. I managed to escape in the morning with my children to this community. Eight towns in northern Ghana are hosting refugees. But the government says it does not have enough funds to support them. Authorities brought food parcels, but they ran out long ago. With accommodation and short supply, many families are forced to sleep in the open. Most arrived here tired, hungry and traumatized. There's limited support. Members of the community try to help where they can, but they also have their own challenges. When it rains, mosquitoes are a constant problem and waterborne diseases such as malaria are common. The closest clinic is 10 kilometers away. Aid agencies say they are evaluating refugees' needs before they step in. Where the people are crowded, there is a possibility of the transmission of diseases. So we are trying to at least alleviate that suffering for now, so that a bit of them, will, especially the vulnerable people, we are thinking about the aged, we are thinking about the lactating mothers. As armed groups in Burkina Faso increasingly target civilians, more people are expected to arrive here. We are putting up police posts, we are putting up uh, army posts, and we are also going to put immigration there. So we are going to put these people there so that they, they ensure that uh, no one comes in to attack these people. For now, Imbu Makama is safe, but she is grieving her husband and worrying about how to raise their five children alone. Eva Atiboka, Al Jazeera, Bansi, Ghana.